AA, see you in church. Hi, I'm Manuel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a little message, tell me something you'd like me to check out, and put the hand up to let me know you were there. I have the tendency to forget to do that, so I do it right away. And if I have to change it, I change it. Hopefully you don't. I decided to do something called, Hey, Mr. President. <laughs> Maybe he'll see it. I don't know. But I'm doing this because I'm tired. I'm tired of hearing about, we're going to do the la la la. Then an idiot comedian. He's a comedian. He's a hick. I'm thinking he's from Texas. Sorry, Texas. Because the guy's an idiot. He goes and says, well, the, he's bringing work to America. No, he's not. He's giving all the work to the other people. And he's giving Americans the work of picking tomatoes. Picking oranges, picking produce. They're going to have Yale grats and <laughs> Harvard grats in the fields picking corn. But wait a minute. They've already tried to get, they're closing every farm in this country. They're doing everything they can, the government to destroy our produce of America. Why? Because they're trying to use all the other countries to bring our produce. Our produce is coming from other countries. And for me, it's sort of scary. For what reason? What's the first thing you're always told when you're going to another country? Do not drink the water. Well, guess what? Produce is almost 100% water. Lettuce is almost 100% water. Tomatoes, water. All the fruit, water. And that's where I have the problem. Okay? There was a movie way, way back. Um, I think it was called per, um, Personal Best. She's an Olympic runner, I think she was. She goes over. She has a piece of fruit from that country. I didn't drink the water, but because they use the water to feed the fruit before they pick it off the tree, the poisons in the, the fruit. So now our government is forcing us to eat foreign fruit. Well, to be honest, this year I have not been able to buy any delicious fruit. Why? Because it's disgusting. I'm sorry. I've gone to several different different stores. Um, and I'm not going to give you their names. But I picked up an orange, and you know how the rind of the orange is. You touch the rind and you got orange hands. Well, guess what? I touched the rind and I went like this. I smelled my hands. I didn't smell orange. I asked my friend, what do you smell on my hands? And he says, he smelled my hands not wanting to. <laughs> he thought I had rubbed my hands on my ass or something and I was trying to make a joke. He says, I don't smell anything on your hands. And he says, weren't you touching that orange? Yes, I was, and that's my point. I've never picked up an orange of any kind, a tangerine, a orange, a anything, and not gotten it on my hands. No smell. Peaches. Mushy centers. Well... It tastes like sand, like you're eating fruity sand. 
Watermelon, not very good. It tasted spoiled. <sighs> tomatoes are not as sweet. And I'm getting Roman tomatoes. What is that? All of this produce is coming from other countries, but they're not hitting the point. I'm sorry. We need to start growing our fruit, our vegetables, everything back in America again. We need to start helping our farmers, American farmers. I, I just don't get this bullshit going on. They're opening their mouths saying that, well, guess what? The jobs we don't want are the ones he's saving for us. But help our people, okay? We need our farmers to start growing our fruits and vegetables here because they don't have any taste. When I want to eat a lemon, I want to taste a lemon. When I want to eat an orange, I want to taste orange. I can't eat... I mean, drink orange juice from a can. Can't drink orange juice from a, a carton. I can't have that kind of orange juice. Only oranges I can eat are fresh oranges. Why? Because there's something they're putting in the orange juice that makes me sick. But I can eat a fresh orange. And that's my point. I'm an orange lover. I love orange. And I'm not talking about the president because <laughs> he's an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> but I love oranges. But we don't have orange juice from Florida. If we do, I can't have it. There's something they're doing something wrong to it. But we used to have in our neighborhood a farm that sold on the sidelines what he had left. And we used to go get some delicious big oranges from him. We used to get huge peaches. We used to get wonderful fruits and vegetables. And I remember that when I was younger. And all I hear now is this farm's closing. The government took it. The in, um, taxes have taxed this farm out of the country. They're closing their doors. They've taken this poor person's farm away from them that it's been in their family for years. What's that about? This guy should have cleaned that butt up. Uh, but he isn't. That's bullshit. I'm sorry. Do something productive. This wall is not productive. Put that money back into our people. Help the farmers. Help the small businesses in this country. Because they're going under. You're giving the world the money and the people in America are starving. They're living in their cars because all the work, all the schooling they've done, they can't afford to live. You're giving the jobs to all the different countries. Your people aren't doing it. You're saying Mexico. Mexico, my ass. They will pick your fields. They will clean your houses. They will clean the businesses. That's what they came and they do. The other people come. They get the money. They do the movies, they do all of those things, and then they leave back to their country with the money. They don't stay here. Throw a stone. Every show today has an Englishman or some other Canadian 
as the main character in those shows. Let's make America great again. Let's stop selling our asses to the other countries and stay here. Have us working here. Have the jobs for American people. When you're an American in the shows, should be an American. England doesn't hire out for English people. They don't put an American pretending they're English. It's getting old and your people are starving because of it. So don't give me any bullshit that he's made jobs for the American people. He hasn't. He saved jobs that the people don't want. These people want to better themselves and go to college. But guess what? They don't want to have a Harvard a diploma to pick up garbage in our country. They don't want to have a Harvard diploma to mop and be janitors at our schools. Give us a break. Take care of your people here, not the other countries. Help America keep their homes. What do you think? How do you feel about that? Let me know. Subscribe to my channel, leave a little message, tell me something you'd like me to talk about. Put the hand up. And remember, AA, see you in church.